Do you think that China will, after it sort of goes through its flirting with this modernization and accepting Western brands, whether it's Starbucks or other, come out with a brand new, authentic, modern Chinese food? And the young chefs are going that way in China? Well, I would say you can get very excellent, you know, contemporary Chinese food rooted in traditional techniques. Um, but the sad thing is that, um, you know, chefing has become rather fashionable in the West. You know, young people want to do it. It's kind of glamorous and exciting. It's, it's, That's not yeah. the case in China. Yeah. It's still a low status profession, although people love food. So parents don't really want their children to become chefs. I know outstanding chefs in China who, if they were in the West, would have queues of people from all over the world wanting to come and do stages in their kitchen. And they don't have apprentices. So. I always hear this complaint, young people in China, they're not willing to chukku, eat bitterness, to really apply <laughs> themselves diligently to the craft of cookery. So um, I think there is a problem, this sort of disjunct between pe you know, people who are obsessed with eating, but not yet the idea that you know, a young person might want to take over an artisanal soy sauce factory. I think it may be coming because people, you know, there's a, some people have this kind of, you know, idea of going back to a simpler life, back to, back to nature. There is a kind of revival of interest in Chinese cuisine as culture. Yeah, at Neil's Yard, when I, I mean, when I went to London, when I was a student in the 70s, it was very hard to find a farmhouse, regional British cheese. And then Neil's Yard basically started the revolution again that's, you know, that's, that, that sparked that. In America, we, have this, we now have over 10,000 beers made in the United States with 4,200 microbreweries, and I grew up with probably 30 or 40. Yeah, that's a really good idea, a really good thing. And actually, one, one of the inspirations for my most recent book was the Dragon Well Manor restaurant in Hangzhou, which is an exceptional place where the, the owner, Dai Jianjun, or otherwise known as Adai, is trying to sort of nourish the traditions of the region by supporting food artisans, peasant producers, um, trying to give people an honest living for producing what urbanites now consider to be premium, what we think of as organic products. And what I fervently hope is that more Chinese people will see what he's doing as truly inspirational, as a sort of, you know, uh, yeah, just a sort of um, wonderful example of how to nourish Chinese traditional culture, make it economically viable, and kind of make it contemporarily relevant to. Does he teach classes for Westerners? No. No, oh, because that would be good. <laughs> no, no, I just think, I, I was just in, in Shanghai two weeks ago, and, and I go into K-11, and what do I see? It's like Chinese women taking classes on how to make birthday cakes for, yes. for their kids, and then yeah. I see the kids' school, which is all about Western cooking, and I'm thinking, and I looked at the whole directory for the next three months, there wasn't one dish in Chinese, that, I mean, one Chinese cooking class well, I should that say, was being I mean, taught there. Also <laughs> in Hangzhou, which, you know, has been a center of gastronomy for 800 years. 800 years ago, they had a restaurant scene with regional restaurants, Buddhist vegetarian restaurants, restaurants specializing in iced <laughs> dishes, you know, it's kind of like... See, cucumber yeah. restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> so in Hangzhou, a few years ago, they opened the Hangzhou Cuisine Museum. A single city has a huge museum with fantastic reconstructions like sushi models of all the classic dishes over 800 years, literally. Um, but they also have a teaching element. They have a restaurant attached. They have activities and classes. So that's another example of sort of big local investment in sort of trying to promote local food culture to a new generation.